All right, so we've got roughly 10 minutes left if we're going to stay on schedule. So, uh, and we do want to open it up to this discussion on functions and activities list. And what we'll do now is just open it up into this uh, an open discussion or maybe even a free for all on, uh, <laughs> you know, on what we should be thinking about in terms of functions and activities, you know, for Drummond Park. Uh, yep. I, I just wanted to mention that for many people on the plantation, this is their backyard. So I think we have to consider that also. And then the other issue that is, has always been in my head, we all came here when we were younger. So I hope that uh, we can remember that and uh, not forget that we could have ping pong competitions or some competitions there uh, that could be developed. Mm -hmm. I'm a little confused because I feel like we're picking out the floor mats to the car. We haven't yeah. even decided if we're buying a car or how we're gonna use the car. And we've spent, you know, quite a few hours picking out the paint. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and I, I guess I just wanted a little clarification of, of are, are we really picking out the looks of it? Have we decided definitely how it's gonna be used or what we're gonna need? Well, I think it, it's all fitting together. I mean, okay. you know, we're trying to find out what we think the needs are, and then along with the information that we have here on various concepts, we try to blend it all together in a way that makes functional sense and also aesthetic sense, you know, in terms of fitting in with the community. So, you know, it's just and maybe the process does get us there. Yeah, yeah well, it's it's yeah. It, it's gathering. You know, it's like we will never be able to do everything that people might want us to do over there, you know. But we'll try to find out what the preferences are, and then see if we can fit them. Yeah. The impetus, though, for the for you know, was the survey to start with. Yeah. So first, you have the survey that that tells you that the general population feels there need to there needs to be improvements there. Then we take those comments, put them on paper, which is the master plan. You see, now we are hmm. trying to, to determine what that image is, and more specifically, what are the little nuances of how we're, how are we going to use it? How many things are we trying to do in here? Hmm. It wasn't exactly one of the comments that uh, you were seeking input on, but I think that the use of Drummond Point Park in relation to the rest of the plantation is important, and that particularly was the comment at the beginning of the day about how this is part of the park and trail system, in effect. Mm -hmm. And so how to get to Drummond Point Park other than in a car, on the trails, on a bike, running, in a golf cart, or whatever those carts are called, um, I think somehow the integration of Drummond Point Park with the rest of the plantation ought to be a consideration in the overall plan. Mm -hmm. We started with a p somewhat provocative question in our group, and that is why wouldn't we check all of the lines, all of the boxes, and we started to talk about criteria. We agree that there might be four criteria that we would consider in determining what to include and not. Uh, one is obviously cost, that's been brought up before. The second would be the um, availability of that function somewhere else, perhaps indoor functions, for example, might be available at the POC. Uh, third, we talked about, is there enough room to do everything? I know it's eight acres, but you can't do everything. And the last one we brought up was noise. So that's the context in which we started checking and not checking boxes. Mm -hmm. We also were, at least I was thinking, that practically all the beginning things, horseshoes, uh, I see bocce ball, ping pong, basketball, skateboarding, volleyball, badminton, shuffleboard, all could be done there at different parts, if, especially if you have the basketball court is just halfway. You could have the other things here, and there's already a, a badminton uh, net up there and a ping pong table, so that uh, if we wanted to do more, you could do that. And then with the picnic tables, and uh, we, I didn't feel that uh, they had to have a soccer because that would take up too much of the yard. It's a beautiful green area. And that the observation tower with the tree house that you're talking about with the playhouse would be good. And that uh, lacrosse was also mentioned at our table that could be played on that green area. So that it wouldn't uh, have to have things in the ground so much as so that children can run and, and throw their frisbees and so forth without any set things we thought about activities one of the things we said like the comment made from one of the other tables uh, earlier was that whatever it is you bring your own uh things i think tetherball might be one exception to that uh, 
you can obviously have a tether ball there. Secondly, I think you've got to think about how many people own these things. I mean, in other words, if you have to bring your own, how many people have a shuffleboard uh, you know, paraphernalia in their closets? Not very many, and I think if you built a court there, still there wouldn't be very many. Um, and the same thing would apply to some of, these, uh, some of these other things. How many people have horseshoes at home? Uh, and, you know, that can be dangerous. I mean, some might have it. But, and I think, you know, on lacrosse, you've got to think that if you miss the net, where does that ball go? Uh, so it, you really sort of have to think about the practicality and see people playing that sport there. Just to, to piggyback on, on what Andy was saying is uh, uh, people will, should bring their own stuff, but also I don't think that, or, or we, we sort of just, I think we all agreed. Um, well, heck with what they think. Um, not, not building permanent like a horseshoe pit or a bocce ball court or something like that, but just, you know, mark out the place on the lawn where you're going to play horseshoes or bocce ball or not an official space, but bring your own stuff as was also mentioned before. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's really important to, to recognize our history and understand where everybody comes from and how it relates. And in that regard, to go back historically, uh, Drummond Park actually has a numbered site that the state archaeologist has on their records. I don't know what it is or where it is, but I think that needs to be investigated uh, before we start building stuff to make sure we're not uh, destroying a site that, that hadn't been properly evaluated. Uh, there are a number of little uh, middens and so forth. Most of the stuff, I think, is, is tends to be in that wooded area that hadn't been disturbed yet, so that may not be a problem. Uh, I, but I think to come more recently, it has a name, Drummond Point. You know, where does that come from? Was it early settlers? I think we could do some research and find that out because people say, well, who was Drummond? Why is it named that? That's something that could be illustrated in a small plaque or something. So I think that's important to look there at. There is a little history, Bill, in the old sea pines. Um, remember the old white sea pines publication they put out? There's a couple little blurbs in there about Drummond Park. It's not real specific, though. It doesn't really tell you who Drummond is, uh, but it does give you a little bit of history. OK, I'm, I'm sorry, but we're going to have to really put an end to this discussion. You know, all, all I'd ask you to do again is if, if you wanted to say something and you didn't have an opportunity to, to voice it here, please write it on your uh, packages there, and we will uh, collect the packages later. I think you just leave the packages on the table, and we'll come and, and get them. Now, as a final point on Drummond Park, I mean, it was just suggested to me, maybe I would like to find out from everyone who's in this room right now how many people have even been to Drummond Park? Okay, well, I mean, this is an interested group then, and that's why you all showed up, you know. <laughs> but we still run into people, you know, that are sort of in that frame of that I don't even know where it is, and I've never been there, but, you know. But we're hoping to be able to change that perspective going forward. 